Hey, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck Happenings in the YouTube Atheist Community and Debate Fun. Okay. Um, so anyway, last night, uh, yeah, I kind of bailed early, five-ish or something. Uh, just tired. Yeah, yeah I was kind of worn down. <laughs> I don't know, I, I seemed to be okay last week, but yeah, this week I didn't have it. Uh, so anyway, and the room was just kind of, you know, nothing neat. It was just kind of, okay, conversation, blah, 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 blah. But nothing to really, you know, sink your teeth into kind of stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, so there's nothing really to say. So I thank you for the people who did show up. Um, many of them late, which was annoying too. Uh, but anyway, you know, okay. You failed. It's okay. I failed. Um, some measure of failure. This is appropriate. Uh, but anyway. All right, so I guess I'll just do other stuff. Uh, there was a great uh, Vox Neruda video. I don't know if you say he splits a hair, which, you know, it doesn't look like he could hold a glass, let alone, uh, you know, articulate a hair into splittingness, which was really quite good. So, anyway, very, very clever video. Um, you know, but, you know, I worry about that guy. <laughs> he just, I don't know what keeps him going. Anyway. Some sort of nuclear fuel, no doubt. Um, biomedics or whatever the hell it is. Anyway, glass. I don't know where all this glass is on my path here. It's kind of funny. It's like old 1950s, broken 40s, 30s. I don't know. Just in the middle of the woods. Sort of annoying. Anyway, Indians did it. Um, so, uh, what else? Some other thing I wanted to comment on. Oh, more glass. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, there was some other video. Damn. Well, anyway, uh, all right. Well, I guess I'll touch on the subject of the, um, you know, I haven't said anything about it, but uh, you know, the uh, healthy addict. You know, she did a video, and Piero did a couple of videos on it, and whatnot, and other people apparently have talked about it. You know, with this whole sexual. Um, trespass kind of subject, <laughs> and uh, you know it was kind of weird actually because you know she did two videos, and uh, the first video you know she's basically saying okay I have this intimate thing to you know it's like even the language you used was a little bit weird. I mean intimate, <laughs> you know that was sort of like the wrong word to use. Uh, you know you don't really talk about your your being you know sexually violated as an intimate encounter, yeah, sort of not really appropriate. Uh, it's almost like calling it romantic or something. A failed romantic encounter, yeah, not really. Um, but anyway, she's doing this video with her bird, which, you know, if you're doing like a serious subject, you really shouldn't be, you know, having a bird, you know, stuff. I mean, that just seems, seems weird. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, it's like if they were doing like warning videos for well, the nuclear power plant has melted down, and, you know, the guy doing the video with the bird, it was, you know, it's hard to take it seriously, you know. Oh, does he really mean that, or is he joking? Um, not that you have any doubt that she's being sincere, I just mean that, uh, ew, there's some kind of shit on my tree. Ugh, annoying. It's a little tiny shit, but it's, you know, in a place where I might, uh, have to encounter it. I have to get that off of there. Uh, damn animals. I don't know what a proper toilet is. Anyway, probably a frog or something. Uh, tree frog, get it? <laughs> anyway, um, where was I? Um, oh yeah, healthy attic. Uh, so, so yeah, it was a little bit, it was just a little strange. Um, so anyway, she told the story, and, uh, yeah, I got, you know, you know, I like healthy attic, but I, you know, it's just, it's just, I don't know, it's just a little weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, you know, because you're just kind of like saying, well, why did you just hang out with that guy after 14 failed attempts? But, you know, she is a nice person, so I guess if she's just doing her nice thing, you know, she's, uh, you know, or something, I mean, she's never been that nice to me. <laughs> yes, you know, uh, but anyway, um, yeah, so, yeah, so anyway, but yeah, there's this, this, you know, you feel this, you know, I mean, 
you've got to figure that you know, all attractive women probably have to go through this shit. And um, it is just kind of irritating that men just won't even acknowledge that any men are rude. And that's just stupid. Um, there are men who are rude, especially when they have a little bit to drink. It doesn't even take much to drink. And they become obnoxiously rude. And, uh, you know, it's just the truth. Uh, you, know, I've, you know, it's not that I've been, I haven't been like, I mean, I never touched anybody. You know, like, I haven't been that overtly rude. But I have been flirtatious in a kind of a disgusting way a couple of times uh, while drunk. And it's just something you admit. I mean, you don't, you don't pretend it doesn't happen. That you can, you know, spoil somebody's, um, you know, comfort. You, you can make somebody uncomfortable with some sort of, um, you know, adding an element that they're not thinking about. Obviously, if they're thinking about shopping at Walmart and you're talking about, you know, um, something else. It's just, you know, it's just, you're on the wrong subjects and it's awkward for somebody to have to say, no, I really don't find you at all interesting. You know, I, it's hard to have empathy for somebody who has to say, I don't find you at all interesting. But it is no fun to have to tell somebody, you smell or you're fat or you ugly. <laughs> you know, it's not fun to have to do that. Um, and that's sort of what you're doing when you're rejecting somebody. You're just saying, no, I really don't like you that much. <laughs> you know, it's sort of a statement. And, uh, you know, you shouldn't have to force people to say it overtly. Uh, you know, they should be able to say it in a subtle ways, and you should get the message that I'm talking about Walmart. You know, can't you tell I really don't like you in that way because I wouldn't be talking about Walmart if I did. You know, or something like that. And then, of course, you know, the story has these elements where, you know, the guy just keeps trying. You know, I mean, she, she sends the message, she says it pretty overtly, and he just keeps trying. And that's, you know, bullshit. So anyway, the, the story is that, you know, this other asshole made some video basically just calling her a liar. And uh, doing the standard bearded male bullshit. You know, like, no, men never do that. That's impossible. You know, making a joke out of it and all that shit, too. Um, and so that was just bullshit. But the weird part was Healthy Attic made a video out of that video that certainly did demonstrate he's an asshole by playing it. But she really didn't answer anything. And she pretended sort of like she wanted to by, you know, doing a joke video about her frustration with this argument. But even that, a joke response video, eh, I mean, I know she's sort of a comedian. Uh, you know, everybody sort of is, I guess. Um, and so she likes to keep it light and fluffy and all that kind of bullshit. Light and fluffy. That's kind of a... <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I was sorry. I had a Beavis and Butthead moment. <laughs> he said fluffy. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, she likes to keep it that way. Uh, but that's not, you know... Uh, it just doesn't seem like the right occasion for that kind of shit. I mean, it's sort of a serious circumstance. Uh, you know, it, obviously there's a lot of people who have a stake in this bullshit for some reason. I mean, they, you know, they have like a ton of chips on the table. <laughs> you know, somehow on this idea of the, the crazy feminist liars, you know, trying to take over the world and stealing all their rights to cuddle babies properly <laughs> or something. I don't know what men are fighting for. I mean, they're not fighting for anything I give a fuck about. <laughs> you know, you know, no, thank you. You're going to have all the fucking ownership rights to babies you want. I'm not interested. <laughs> Saddle the woman with all that shit, please. Uh, but anyway, that's a whole other subject. Uh, you know, I mean, just because I don't want to write... I shouldn't assume other people don't need one. Um, but I really don't see the intrinsic or fundamental bigotry against men built into a system that's just recognizing that, you know, men do it badly a lot. And, uh, you know, most men, I wouldn't let them baby up. I wouldn't let a man babysit my kids. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, in no way. You know, not unless he proves he's got his junk cut off or something. But anyway... That's a whole nother subject. 
yeah. Well, anyway, so that was just my impression. I wasn't going to bother with any of it. Uh, but, yeah, I was just curious if Christina, um, you know, the Zomgits had uh, said anything about it because, you know, she's sort of friends with healthy addicts, so then I end up going to the Twitter thing, and I end up saying, well, what the hell, I'll go see the video, and uh, there really wasn't much coherent conversation anywhere, so, um, you know, and I don't follow any of the MRA stuff, whatever the hell that is, uh, you know, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I just don't, I don't, frankly, I don't watch the feminist videos either, because I think both sides are full of shit in a lot of ways, and the argument is, you know, how do you just settle a problem that is complicated? Uh, I mean, fundamentally, there's this huge difference between men and women. You know, women have to carry babies in their belly. And that's sort of a significant problem. And uh, you could, you could, I think people could realize there'd be a, a lot of issues if we were seahorses, you know. <laughs> and the women had the eggs. And then she, you know, pushed them into the male's abdomen to mature. Uh, you know, I think there'd be all kinds of issues, uh, about what's fair, uh, you know, if the man can't go to work, he needs this, and, uh, you know, somebody's got to take care of these little things, and, you know, there are lots of problems here, and so there should be some issues in terms of trying to find a, an equality balance, um, you know, where you can do both of these things, family and career, which I just, you know, is problematic on its face, uh, you know, because then you end up just having people getting paid ten dollars an hour raising kids, which doesn't seem like a very good idea. But anyway, and uh, yeah, well, whatever. You know, um, it's complicated. I guess is all I'm saying. So the fact that things are a little bit messed up and you don't have perfect pendulum swings, you know. Things get a little bit eccentric and bizarre. Uh, I think everybody just ought to lighten up a little bit and recognize that we're trying to make progress. And uh, things have been getting better and better for the last hundred years. So, you know, don't over rock the boat. Yeah, I know the boat's rocking, but don't make it worse. You know, don't incite more crap by calling women liars. I mean, that's just kind of bullshit. Uh, especially women you have no evidence are liars. I mean, yeah, certainly call the ones that are proven liars, liars. But the ones who have no record of being a liar, you really don't have a right to call a liar. That's just fucking outrageous behavior. So anyway, like that should be the subject. But that's part of the game, right, is to change the subject. People really love to do that. <laughs> you know, they just love to ignore the subject uh, because they got no rational contribution to make. So they just change the subject so they can just, you know, shoot the shoot the straw man, make a straw man and shoot it. And uh, you know, it's lame, it's stupid, but the human race sucks. So anyway, yeah, uh, enough on that. Uh, yeah, there's not much, you know, not much else. I've been arguing with Anna Kontavad, but it's just not going to go anywhere. He's never going to get the point, <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, he's, he's just not, I mean, he's, he's not, he's, I don't even think it's that he can't get it. It's he's going to keep evading it. I uh, keep talking about one, how you doing? Uh, you know, one in a million circumstances. So, you know, you can't argue with, um... You know, the fact that there are serial killers in the world is just a fact. So basically, his most recent video, I'll probably do a reply to it, but he's basically, you know, pulled the Hitler card squared. I mean, you know, because Hitler did it wrong, there's no point in trying to do anything. Because Hitler did it wrong. And it's just, what the fuck? Uh, you know, that's just such a bullshit argument. It, you know, can I make the argument that everybody should give up sex? because Jeffrey Dahmer did it wrong. I mean, is that where you want to go? You know, nobody can have sex anymore because Jeffrey Dahmer did it wrong. He got out of control. He fucked it up. <laughs> you know, started fucking tortured corpses and shit. Uh, yep, totally fucked up. 
So sex is bad. Stay away from it. Dangerous. I mean, that's just bullshit. And because Hitler was a lousy do-gooder, <laughs> you know, the crazy, bigoted, motherfucking cunt, somehow people can't be do-gooders because Hitler sucked at it. I mean, really, that's his argument. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> you know, I mean, fuck you. There's nothing you can say to that. It's a fuck you. I'm not, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't have to defend myself against Hitler's behavior. I have nothing in common with Adolf Hitler or Mao Zedong or Killing Fields or uh, Jeffrey Dahmer's kitchen. Uh, it's not my fucking problem to defend those people, to defend my right to pass judgment on something, to say something's wrong, to say rape is wrong, or that it's wrong to drunk drive. You know, I mean, it's just so stupid. Uh, that's just not even stupid. It's just a cheap maneuver. And, uh, you know, this is just, you know, overt abuse of language, abuse of concept. That's what I guess we should call it. Abuse of concept. It's not just a category error. It's a slander. That's what it is. Uh, it certainly is changing the subject. Uh, you know, when you decide that nobody can think or judge because a few characters in history did it really badly. Wow. <sighs> yeah, fuck you. That's stupid. <sighs> so anyway. I think that's probably enough. Ooh. Ugh, like crap. <laughs> I'm going to sleep again. Uh, and such. It's going to rain. I think it's already raining actually. It's just little rain. Anyway. Ooh, I can throw a horseshoe. Yeah, I'll do that. That'll cheer me up. Oh. Alright, so if I hit the thing at the end, on the first try, I get 59 cents. Right? I get to take 59 cents out of the drawer and buy myself something special. A hooker. Oh, I just missed. Uh, I see, I always throw them straight, and that one went crooked for some reason. So that was just such a rip-off. So it was right there. Did the same thing again. All right, never mind. I'll embarrass myself. Yeah, it's closed, but no cigar. <laughs> anyway. I was distracted. Yeah. So just because I failed throwing a horseshoe doesn't mean somebody else can't throw it right. Duh. Yeah, that's not complicated. Ugh. So, yeah, shall we tour and such and so forth and whatnot. Yeah, that's enough.